The wanted singer Tom Parker has sadly died aged 33 from a brain tumour called glioblastoma. I'm Dr Alzmine and I make medical education content. I made a short video a few weeks ago discussing the possible symptoms of a brain tumour that should prompt you to seek urgent medical help. I wanted to make this longer video to discuss glioblastoma and brain tumours in more detail. I was devastated to learn of Tom's death as I'm sure many of you were. I debated about whether it was the right time to be making this video, obviously it's an emotional emotional time and Tom's friends, family and fans are mourning for him. However, I think it's really important that I make this video now, because Tom himself tried to educate people about his diagnosis, and if even one person's life is changed or even saved by the information in this video, then it will have been worth it. The sad truth is, one in two of us will get cancer in our lifetimes, so almost everyone's life is going to be affected by cancer directly or indirectly at some point. It's a really difficult and emotional topic, but there's no point in staying quiet when actually talking about it and educating people may actually be life-saving. Tom, thank you for the music, the kindness and happiness that you've brought to this world in your time here. I wish you peace Tom, and solace to your friends, family and fans. In this video I'm going to reference the NHS website and the Cancer Research UK website, links in the description. They both provide really clear and understandable information about brain tumours and cancer in general. If you find these topics topics difficult and require support, please visit Macmillan Cancer Support. I'll put a link in the description as well. Please consider donating to Macmillan Cancer Research or another related charity. Okay, let's get going with the information part of this video. So what are brain tumours? A brain tumour is a growth of cells in the brain that multiply in an abnormal and uncontrollable way. Brain tumours are graded according to how fast they grow and how likely they are to grow back after treatment. Grade 1 and 2 tumours are low grade, while grade 3 and 4 tumours are high grades. Brain tumours are mainly divided into two groups. Non-cancerous or benign brain tumours are low grade, which means they grow slowly and they're less likely to come back after treatment. Meanwhile, cancerous or malignant brain tumours are high grade. They're the more aggressive ones. They can either start in the brain, called a primary tumour, or they can spread from somewhere else to the brain, called a secondary tumour. These are more likely to come back after the first set of treatment. Unfortunately, glioblastoma itself is one of the high-grade tumours, and they also happen to be one of the commoner types. So what are the symptoms of a brain tumour? There may be different symptoms depending on which part of the brain is affected. Note that some of these symptoms may be due to another cause, for example headaches. However, if you have any of these symptoms, you should still get them checked out to rule out a brain tumour or another serious cause. Common symptoms include headaches, seizures or fits, persistently feeling sick, that's nausea, being sick or vomiting and drowsiness, mental or behavioural changes such as memory problems or changes in personality, progressive weakness or paralysis on one side of the body, and vision or speech problems. You might not have any symptoms to begin with, or they may develop slowly over time. See a doctor if you have any of these symptoms, especially if you have a headache that is different from your usual type of headache, or a headache that's getting progressively worse. If your doctor cannot find an alternative cause for your symptoms, then they may refer you to a neurologist for further special tests, such as a CT scan, an MRI scan or a biopsy. Brain tumours can affect anyone of any age, including children, although they do appear to be more common in older adults. So what actually causes brain tumours? The cause of most brain tumours is unknown, although there are a few risk factors that do increase your chances of developing a brain tumour. They're more likely with increasing age. Most brain tumours tend to occur in adults aged 85 to 89, however there are some brain tumours that are more common in children, for example. Exposure to radiation can accounts for a very small number of brain tumours, for example CT scans, x-rays or radiotherapy to the head, and some genetically inherited conditions are also known to increase the likelihood of developing a brain tumour, such as tuberous sclerosis, neurofibromatosis types 1 and 2, and Turner syndrome. So how are brain tumours treated? Treatment will depend upon the type of tumour, where it is in your brain, how big it is and how far it's spread, how abnormal the cells are, and your overall health and fitness. Treatments for brain tumours include 
steroids to reduce the swelling around the tumour, medicines to help with symptoms such as painkillers for headaches or anti-epileptic medicines for seizures, surgery to remove as much of the abnormal tissue as possible, this is sometimes called debulking, and then radiotherapy or chemotherapy to target any of the cancerous or abnormal cells that are left behind. Treatment for non-cancerous tumours is often very successful, although every tumour is still followed up in case of recurrence. However, for glioblastoma, which is a high-grade malignant tumour, surgery is the main treatment to remove as much of the cancer as possible. Some neurosurgeons might suggest that you stay awake for part or whole of the operation, also known as an awake craniotomy. This means that they can test parts of your brain to ensure that they keep the functional parts of the brain while removing the abnormal cancerous parts. Radiotherapy uses high-energy x-rays to disrupt and destroy the cancer cells. And you may also be given a chemotherapy drug called temozolomide. These treatments can control the glioblastoma for some time, but it may grow back. If this happens, then you may need further treatments such as more surgery, more radiotherapy, or different chemotherapy drugs such as lomustine or the combination PCV. So what's the prognosis of having a brain tumour? Well, the outlook depends on several factors, including your age, the type of tumour you have, where it is in your brain, the effectiveness of the treatments, and your general health. Survival rates are difficult to predict because in general brain cancers and tumours are quite uncommon and there are many different types. Your doctor will be able to give you more information. Sadly, only 5% of people diagnosed with a glioblastoma live beyond 5 years after diagnosis, but it is very dependent on individual circumstances. I hope hope that I've been able to provide useful, accurate and potentially life-saving information in this video. Please consider sharing this video with your loved ones so they know what to look out for. You can find more information at the NHS and Cancer Research UK websites links below. And if you need support, there's also a link to Macmillan Cancer Support. My deepest heartfelt condolences to Tom's friends, family and fans. I wish you all the best and I hope you stay safe, happy and healthy.